Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about population genetics and here's the first question. The term used to describe genes that are evolutionary related is, and we have to choose between these uh, answers, answer A parallax, B orthologx and answer C homologx. So it looks like uh, all these terms uh, are very related and describe uh, things that is very close uh, in terminology. So let's uh, talk about each one. So what we call homolox. Imagine that uh, this is say chromosome number one and because we are deployed we have two chromosomes number one. We have two chromosomes number um, two, number three, number four and so on. So uh, this would be centromere and say here we have a gene and uh, on the other chromosome we also would have the same gene and if we would have uh, another gene here on another homologous chromosome we also would have the same gene and uh, on each chromosome we may have hundreds and thousands of uh, different genes and uh, if we would have one gene on one chromosome, that means that on the other chromosome we also would have um, another gene that also would be homologous to this one. So homology is just a relationship where we can say uh, that two things are very similar. So we can say that chromosome number one has its homolog or these two chromosomes would be homologous. And uh, of course this doesn't mean that these genes would be absolutely the same. Uh, these genes, because they, uh, these two chromosomes came from uh, mother side and another one from the father side, may have uh, genes that uh, would have different mutations and we would call such uh, genes, we would call them alleles. So uh, alleles can be the same, so we would say for example that would be homozygous or would be different, so we would uh, call such locus heterozygous and so on. So uh, what is ortholox? Imagine that this is evolutionary tree. So we had one species and that species divided to two species. And of course, uh, if uh, we would say that if we would take some gene, like uh, on chromosome number one in this locus, so what would happen to this gene in uh, different species? For example, one can be domesticated cat, another one can be a lion. And uh, of course these two species are related and they would have a very close genetic makeup, would have uh, genes that would be um, almost identical. But of course, because uh, millions of years passed since separation of these uh, two species, such genes would accumulate mutations and sequence uh, those would be related but would be slightly different. But we expect that still these two genes would uh, specify the same product. So uh, biologically we can say that they would uh, perform the same functions in both organisms of the domesticated cat and in the organism of the lion. So now let's talk about uh, parallax. Parallax is, once again, we have evolutionary tree here and now imagine that um, the same one species here that separated and now we have two species. Let's take some uh, gene uh, that is going to be uh, would have the same function, so this would be orthologx and uh, these two genes, but in, say, lines, this gene uh, had a duplication, 
and now we have two such genes in line. So uh, let's put uh, this gene also here. So now you see it, we, it can be found in one locus and also in another locus. Uh, so now line have two such um, genes. So what would happen to the second copy of the gene? Because now this gene not under the selection pressure, meaning when gene was uh, in one copy, any uh, change to this gene would uh, also affect the health or uh, how this um, gene perform its functions within an organism. You know, uh, this uh, can be described very well uh, by some um, quote from uh, spy movies. One step left, one step right would be considered as uh, escape and you would be killed. But uh, yeah, this is very good description. But when we have a second copy, what would happen? Uh, this second copy can deteriorate, it can accumulate a lot of uh, different uh, mutations and the health, uh, on overall, the health of the organism wouldn't be affected because organism has the second normal copy that uh, doesn't uh, have so many mutations. So when the second copy uh, would accumulate mutations, it also can start to perform new uh, functions within an organism. So this gene uh, wouldn't anymore perform the same function as original gene and would perform some kind of new functions. So this gene would be called parallax. So let's now choose the correct answer. So the term used to describe genes that are evolutionary related is, and basically we can choose parallax and orthologs but uh, which one to choose? In the second question, I see homologous genes found in different species. So, different species here. So, basically, uh, probably it means that in the same organism, in this question. Because in the next question, we told uh, in different species. So, if in the same organism, that we call parallax. So, answer... A. But this question is not well defined. It should uh, have uh, the same species here. So, uh, next question. Homolox genes found in different species that uh, evolved from a common ancestors are called, and now you know, that such genes that evolved uh, from uh, the same ancestor, but uh, two species separated, but these genes perform the same functions in different species uh, we call orthologs and this is answer b thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye